Yo YouTube, what's up? I'm Sam, he's AC, he's KJ. We don't know what we're putting this video up, but the bottom line is the Phillies lost and they're out. And, you know, even if you weren't a Phillies fan, I think this kind of caught you off guard. You look up, down that roster, I felt like it was clearly the best roster in baseball. In 08 when they won, I don't think it was the best. I thought the Red Sox were the best. In 09, the Yankees were the best. I felt like in 2010, the Phillies were the best. Why didn't they win? I mean, why did this defense? De defense was a big uh, part of it. People are saying that, yeah, they didn't hit. Yeah, they didn't hit. But you know what? Against that Giants pitching, how many hits can you expect to get? Yeah, but they haven't yeah. hit the whole year. That was more the issue. That was the, the issue. But they haven't had their whole lineup until a week before the postseason. Yeah, and I mean... They haven't had that whole lineup together. I, I know that's true, and I know this was the year of the pitcher, but still, the, the great hitters come through, and... On 3-2, bases loaded, yeah, most people don't stand there and look at strike three. Even if it wasn't a strike, which I think it was a strike, you don't stand there and look there. What? I, I, I don't know. I, I don't know how you could do that, how you could 3-2 count. Any hitter would be thinking, you got to hit the ball. It's yeah. obviously going to be a fastball. If not, maybe... Change up, it change up some. It's but not going to be. You got to get the bat on the ball. Yeah, you got. Yeah, that was like swing. a change up or a curveball. You can't. Or you can't watch the ball. I mean, probably one of the biggest games. That was the biggest. Yeah, biggest game of the year. Ryan Howard's career, yeah, possibly. Yeah. I wrote down reasons, and yeah, I know it looks stupid, but I did it. Uh, they. I think the whole year they felt like they could just show up and win. I think that was part of the reason they didn't hit. Part of the reason they lost to teams. Throughout the year, like the Pittsburgh Pirates and the Houston Astros, because those teams just showed up, and guys like Utley, Abanez, and Howard just didn't show up for the series. Chase Utley has how many errors? Raul Abanez is an old man; he can't swing the bat anymore. Ryan Howard, I don't know what the hell he was doing. I, I honestly have no idea. I have idea. no idea what was going through his head. But whatever it is, he better get his crap together. Yeah, because. It's too late now. No, but the, the, well, it is too late yeah, now yeah, this season, next, but you know what? The, the people who are sitting here saying that they should fire Charlie Manuel are absolutely insane now. No, yeah, like, that's crazy. I know he got outmanaged by Bruce Bochy, who looks like your dad, i got to say that. But <laughs> he does. No, but the, the people who are saying they got outmanaged by Bruce Bochy are 100% right. They, he did get outmanaged. But saying that Charlie Manuel should get canned for that. First of all, he had an injured team the whole year. And he led them to the best record in baseball. Then you go to the NLCS. I know it wasn't what they were supposed to do, but you can only do so much. They fired the hitting coach. The hitting just was not there this year. They didn't hit the ball. In my in my opinion, Charlie's the reason that they were actually in the playoffs. Yeah. I mean, if they didn't, yeah. they didn't hit the ball all freaking year. No, no one in that lineup I thought came to the yard to play. Jason Worth said, you know what, I'm in my contract year, I'm just going to sit back and try and hit a home run every time. Notice how he hit nine more home runs the year before when he just tried to hit the ball. Ryan Howard, he tried to go to some different direction after being in the World Series. I'm going to strike out less, I'm going to do this and that. I don't really care. I mean, people want to make a big deal about Ryan Howard striking out. His strikeout numbers have gone down. But I don't need Ryan Howard to bat 3, uh, 12 in hit 30 home runs. I want him to bat 240 and hit 50 home runs. If that's what it takes, then let him do that and let him hit 50 he's home runs. He's the big piece, you know. Well, he, he wasn't he, this series. Well, he's yeah. got to be. The, the he's thing I noticed the like, that the Giants had, and there were two former Phillies, Pat Burrell and Aaron Rowan, was a thing called leadership. Like, back in the day when the Phillies won, they used to play as a team. Now it was just nine guys out on the field. Yeah, it's kind of like individuals yeah, becoming the Yankees. Like, like and when you look at teams like the Texas Rangers, yeah, and, yeah, they, they're, play, they're, they play together. Like you look at the Phillies, and you hear you hear names, not so much as this team. You hear like, oh, well, Otley, Rollins, and Worth, yeah, and whatnot. Yeah, I, I think what they need to do is go back and look at it. Worth's not going to be there next year. Dominic Brown scares the hell out of me. I'm going to be honest. Yeah, Ryan Howard. He needs to just go back to playing how he used to play. His fielding's good enough. But I think that's blown out of proportion a little bit. Chase Utley, I don't know what the hell he was smoking. Jimmy Rollins needs to start working harder in the offseason so he's well, not he, injured he, he five started, times. Rollins is getting he started, older. He started, he started coming on a little bit. Yeah, he's starting to get older, years. but still, yeah. when you're older, everyone says you got to work harder. And well, you, know, you know, going back to what you said about the fielding, 
It, they beat themselves in the series. They beat themselves. They didn't hit the ball. They yeah, but the beat Giants themselves did, out on the field. The Giants didn't have a great field. I mean, they basically lost one of the games because Aubrey Huff had a fielding miscue, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, but you know what? Chase Utley had how many errors in this oh, series? And Chase I'm not. I'm nice. not saying that they lost that game or any games because of him, but you he got so much of he a better a chance. Factor. Yeah, you have so much of a better chance if he doesn't make those errors. You look, it, it looks like a little league team out there. Yeah, well, it like I mean, a little league you, game. but I, I disagree with the people saying, "Oh, you got to blow this team up." Chase Utley sucks. Ryan Howard's garbage. I mean, calm down. Okay, you were in the world. The people that are the real fans like us, we've been watching since like they sucked in like 2000. Not these people that come on in 2008 when they go to the World Series. I can't stand people that do that and call themselves real fans. You watch when the team's good, you watch when the team's bad. And anyone that did that knows that you went, You just went to two World Series in NLCS. I'll take that over going 60 and 100 with Bobby Brayu playing right field and Kevin Millwood is the best pitcher on the team. I'll take that. I, I don't know. I mean, the Phillies just didn't seem to be all that motivated this season. And I started to see that last season that they just didn't seem like they, you know, if we get there, cool. We get more commercials on TV. I, I don't think they feel like we need to win a World Series like they did in 2000. Yeah. Like well, 2000, along, 2008. Along with, what, they were, go ahead, go. with what you said earlier, like how the Texas Rangers beat the Yankees. They beat them. Yeah, like they, they beat the them. The Phillies hard. beat themselves. They really, sh they beat yeah, themselves. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't think there's anyone that felt like if the Phillies showed up and their whole lineup's hitting, that they weren't going to beat the Giants. I mean, let, let's be honest here. The whole lineup together and that pitching, which was phenomenal throughout the series, with the exception of Chad Durbin, and Cole Hamels in Game 3 wasn't great, but he, he didn't lose the game for him. I, I don't know. And I, The other thing I felt like is they felt like they could just score one inning, and then they could just ride the pitching. If you look yeah. at it, they had one big inning in basically all the games, and then the rest of the game they would just... It was the same in the Reds series, except the yeah. Reds just couldn't score. And you, One you thing got, that highly upset me was th there's not the ur sense of urgency that there was late no, in the season. Yeah, no. There's no sense of urgency. They're like, oh, well, we'll come out tomorrow and win. I think there they, is no tomorrow. Yeah, I think they felt like they, they could get down 3-1 and then they could just yeah, show up. Yeah, they play too much catch-up. Yeah. They try to play too much catch-up. And i got to say one thing about players like, like Cody Ross. He wants like, to play. He, that's a player who went out there saw and, and saw the Phillies and just hit. He, he wanted to win. Yeah, I mean, the, the, the Giants wanted it more, and that's what yeah. it comes down to in oh, baseball. Yeah. We're not going to sit here and be homers and say, like all the Yankees fans, oh, the Rangers got lucky. My ass, the Rangers got lucky. The Rangers were the better team. They won all the games by, like, five runs. Yeah, when you're Game average one, they many blew runs, it. yeah. Like, like they, were, they should have won that series in four yeah, games. Yeah, it should have been a sweep. Five one. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Yankees fans need to learn how to lose a little bit. <laughs> like, you, you're down... If you lose in five games, I'm pretty sure no one got lucky. I'm pretty sure you just, your team just wasn't that good this year. And everyone's saying, oh, the Yankees are just so, clearly the best team in baseball. No, they weren't. Look at their pitching. You got Sabathia, who, yeah, he was good, but I think he had a 3 ERA compared to some of the other guys who had a 2 ERA. Andy Pettit, the man's like 80 years old. Phil Hughes, he won 18 games, great. He had like a 4 ERA. I think it had a lot more to do with the team he was playing on. The Yankees, they're all they're turning into like um, well, the I, Phillies when they when they just hit home runs. That's all they do. They hit home no, runs. They that didn't happen deal. in this series. Too. No, no. But much. that's because they ran into decent pitching. Yeah, yeah, I mean that's what happens. I think some of these teams just run out of motivation. I I don't get that. I mean, if I'm out on that field and I have to go through 162 games every year, I want to win the World Series every year. I want to come out there and win. It's your job. You get three months of the year to just work out for this, fix any issues you have. I don't get how you can show up day one and get hurt and then decide in the playoffs, oh, well, we'll just come back from a 3-0 deficit. I don't get it. And I, I don't know. I mean, I just can't believe that the Phillies just choked the way to me what was an easy World se or a World Series that they could have won easily. And they're going to be kicking themselves for a while, especially if they don't get back Absolutely. and they don't win another one. Because yeah. you look at that pitching staff, Halliday was a monster this year. Oswald was a beast. Hamels was a beast. You had your chance, and you just absolutely just let nobody, it... Nobody pitched bad, in my opinion, in this series. Nobody hit. Yeah, nobody hit. Nobody played defense. I mean, 
Joe Blanton was a joke in Game Four. I, I yeah, know that. that was 